Art and Marine. I'm here in New York City and guess what? It's happy hour. So I am on the street right now. I've always been kind of nosy and obsessed with people's design, where they live. And when I see people on the street, I'm like, I want to know if what they look like on the outside matches what they live like on the inside. So I'm going to see if I can find some strangers to take me home. Happy hour style. I'm going to go right to the belly of the beast. I'm going to go into this bar. Would one of you be willing to take me home? She laughed in my face. Hello, sir. Hi. Would you be willing to take me home? I'm gay. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. Hello. My name is Arda Marine. How are you? Let me just cut right to the chase. Uh, did any of you wake up this morning and think, I want to take a silly blonde comedian home to my apartment? <laughs> Most okay. days I do. <laughs> I know most days you do. Basically, I'm going around the city and we've been, we want to bust the myth of like what real New York apartments look like. Movies like in the apartments, they're all fake. So we're getting people, and like lots of New Yorkers, all ages and size, have been brave enough to take me home. We've got a party bus, and I don't tell me what it looks like because I want to guess. Would one of you, one of you five has to have an apartment that someone would be willing to take me home, and we could take all of you in the party bus? Yeah, I'm up for it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Five dates. I've got five dates. All right, we'll settle your tab, and I, let's get to the bus. Oh my God, we're all gonna get arrested. There's nothing legal about this. Sweet. <laughs> no, is this exactly how you imagined your Friday night beginning? Most of them do. <laughs> How many times have you had blonde girls force you to take them home with camera crews? <laughs> 17 or more. Okay, I'm, we're on the party bus. Okay, Wait, what's oh, up? Yeah. High five. Yes, I caught five guys. <laughs> I'm going to say this is the bounty. Okay. <laughs> Mike? Tom. Andy. Drew. Austin. Those are hot. Those are all like solid good guy names. What do you do for a okay. living? I'm a lighting designer for theater. How cool. Interesting. Anything yeah. I might have seen? Um, not unless you go to really crappy festivals. <laughs> <laughs> Don't count me out. Alright, here we are. Right. Here we are in Hell's Kitchen. I've acquired a boy band. Come on, I knew happy hour was going to be good. Here's the thing, you just need to go out in an orange dress, ask people to take you home, and you too can get a boy band. <laughs> Uh, oh, well, this is a picture of my hometown, um, and this is something I stole from the subway. <laughs> is this, um, and it, did you make this? It, used, this, it was this to be what, wrapping paper. I've done yeah, something, yeah. but this is, you can just get wrapping paper. Yep. Look how chic that is. If you steal things from the subway, <laughs> and you get wrapping paper, that's so chic. I love it. I lived in a studio for two years. I lived in a 350 square. Do you, any of you guys live in studios? Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you. I like the judgment that comes with no. So this is your dining area over here. I love it, right? Not nominally, yes. But I love it. I love your very chic bar stools. That's Thank kind you. of right. I was Thank in sort of industrial shape. Yes. In the lighting designer, just simple paper globes, but you did them like shooting stars. Yeah. <laughs> and I love all your pillows. Who's the guy in the, uh, who's the man pillow? Um, that's Carl Castle. He's an NPR host for one of my favorite radio shows. Wait, wait, don't tell me. That is spectacular. <laughs> I went to see a tape in Chicago, so I got that there. And then look at, I love, oh, like that. It's a Can needle I point from a friend. Yeah, of that. course. It's spectacular. Of course. College on. friend made that for me. This is so, did your friend make it? <laughs> she did, yeah. Wow, that is, it takes a long time to make needle point. I love all the New York subway, like the New York is that, is well, it's, uh, I actually got it at the London Transport Museum. It's a map of all the urban rail systems in the world. So what? I'm kind of, I'm kind of like a subway nerd. All right, yeah. let's see the kitchen. <laughs> okay. Now, did you guys think it's as close to what you thought his place would be like? Oh, it's a lot cuter than I expected. <laughs> <laughs> Your kitchen is really great. This is a great kitchen. Thank you. I love, I love the pops of color and like the slight sort of celery color mm -hmm. with the orange. What is this? Is that magnetic? It is. You can put little notes or receipts or things on it if you want to. And, and I just pick up stuff from wherever I go around town. And I like all the maps. 
Thank you. Yeah, those are some of my favorite cities. I love to travel. So that's London, San Francisco, and Prague. And then you just pop them in a frame and put yep. them right on the wall. And I like exactly. that they're sort of more shadow boxy. Yeah, exactly. And I like that you also have rather just like <laughs> taping photos of your family that you put them in little, are those magnetic frames? Yeah, I tried to find embarrassing pictures of them and then stick them right on the fridge. I like that. That is a tip at home. <laughs> find embarrassing pictures of your loved ones and put them on the fridge. Yeah. Well, I noticed that you have a little outdoor space. Can we check that out? Sure. What? Oh my god! You have a magical outdoor space! I have. <laughs> this is so amazing. Is this what sold you on your apartment? Uh, I actually wasn't looking for the outdoor space, but it was a nice bonus. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean, this is sort of a big table, but it was the best one I could find. So. Okay, how'd <laughs> yeah. you hunt it down? New or Craigslist. used? Craigslist. Yonkers. Zip car and Craigslist, I'll tell you what. Okay, well, I have to tell you, I am loud, and I feel like you two people that for a small space, you can pack a big punch. Thank you. Um, you did it. I will tell you this, I would not be a good house guest if I did not come with a housewarming present. Because who wants a house guest without a housewarming present? So I have actually Whoa. my own bottle of wine that I've made. That's me. I don't know if you I can tell it. on there. <laughs> I've been mulling some rosé for you. Uh, thank you. Deep in the Napa Valley, my vineyards. So thank you so much for taking me home, Mike. Thank you. See you later. <laughs> Bye, guys. Mike and all of these handsome gentlemen were brave enough to take me home. Subscribe to Spaces TV to see who takes me home next. Bye!